Hey everybody and welcome to another lecture with Coding with Roby and in this lecture we're going to be going over more details about Alembic. The first thing we will be adding in this section is a new phone number column for our user. We will be writing an Alembic script to modify our real-time database to add a new column to our table. After we do that, we will need to go back and enhance our code to now be able to handle that new column. But let's not get ahead of ourselves quite yet, and stick with how do we enhance a database table with Alembic. Well, to start, we need to install Alembic to our application. To do this, we need to go to our terminal and type pip install Alembic. This will install all the needed dependencies we will need for our application to properly use Alembic. Now let's go over some of the Alembic commands we will be covering in this section. The first command is the Alembic initialization step. To initialize an Alembic directory, we need to type Alembic init and then the folder name, which we will just call Alembic in this project. This command will initialize a new generic environment for our application to be successful. In simple terms, this command will create us an Olympic directory where we can get started with revisioning our scripts. The next command is the revision command. Revisions are a way to now write a specific step to enhance our database. We will be creating a new revision file within our Olympic directory by typing Olympic revision M and then adding a message or note so that we know what the revision file's purpose is. And the dash M actually stands for message. So it's Olympic revision dash message and then we type the message. Next is the upgrade command by saying Olympic upgrade along with the revision number. This will upgrade our database to now use the script we wrote to enhance our database. This is the fun part. And the revision number comes from the revision file that we originally wrote the script with. And I'll show you all this in code and in practice. And have no worries, if we mess up, we can always abort the mission. Alembic comes with a downgrade to undo the change we made beforehand. So with every upgrade, there's also a downgrade so we can modify our database appropriately. So what should we expect when we code this part of the lecture? After we initialize our project with Alembic, two items will appear in our directory. The first file is the Alembic.ini file. And the second will be an actual Alembic directory within our project directory. So what does the Alembic.ini file actually do? Well, it holds much of the configuration for Alembic. It is also the file that Alembic looks for when being invoked. This means when we call revision script to run, Alembic will look at the INI file to find the database connection, username, password, and all of that type of information. It more or less holds the properties related to our specific project. The Olympic directory is where we do all the magic. The Olympic directory has all the environmental properties for Olympic. It holds all the revisions for our project and it's the area we call for migrations for upgrading. And it is the area we call for downgrading the migrations as well. Both the Olympic directories and the INI file will be used in this section. All right, well, this wraps up this lecture, and I will see you in the next video.